If your automatic or manual wind watch is not a Rolex True Beat or an Omega Synchro Beat, then the second hand should sweep and not tick. This is a common issue for mechanical watches with the center second feature, where the center second hand will tick instead of sweep. Hi guys and welcome to a new episode with me, Derek, aka Sal, the Omega Enthusiast. I will quickly show you how to fix the center second hand ticking issue in this short video. Let's get started. Firstly, you'll need to understand that a sweep second wheel or a sweep second pinion is what makes the second hand on a center second movement sweep. But the possible ticking hand issue will only happen when there's a sweep second pinion. That's because there's a clip, also known as a friction spring, that holds the pinion in place. And when this clip is not correctly adjusted, the second hand will tick instead. Some of you may think I don't mind seeing the hand ticks, but the issue is the tick is irregular. That means the tick is inconsistent. There are two types of friction spring and you'll need to know which type is in your watch's movement to adjust it correctly. I'm going to use Omega Movement as example for this video, but you can apply the same technique to any movement brand. First, you have the spring over pinion type. This is probably the easier one of the two to adjust. If this is your first time trying to fix this problem, I recommend removing the spring and examining it off the movement. First, let's examine the spring from the side view. Then you'll need a tweezer to correct the issue. When the bend of the spring is too little, the second hand will tick. The second hand will sweep normally when the bend is around 30 degree. When the bend is too much, the watch may stop. The second type of spring is the under pinion type. This spring will require more work because you must remove the sweep second pinion bridge, which is this bridge, and then remove the second pinion. From there, ensure that the spring slightly covers the second pinion entry hole. And from the side view, ensure it is slightly bent to around 30 degree. A tweezer is all that you'll need to adjust the spring. I hope this video will solve your ticking hand issue on your mechanical watch. If you find it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also support my work on Patreon. If you have any question or uncertainty, please comment below. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the following video.